Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to put classes into their own files, which is definitely the way that um, the way it works when we're building a real application, and also how to auto load them with a, a function called SPL auto load register. All right, and then finally we're going to take a look at the final keyword, which can prevent classes from being overridden by child classes and also uh, methods by being overridden by child class methods. All right, so let's go ahead and let's open our folder here. Okay, right now I just have index.php, but I'm going to create another document. And I'm going to save this one as foo.php. Okay, and then we're going to create another document. And we're going to call this one bar. Dot PHP. All right, so let's open all three of these. Okay. All right, so let's create here. We're going to say PHP. Whoops. And we're going to create a class called foo. And let's just create one public function. And we'll call it say hello. Okay, and all this is going to do is echo hello world. Okay, one class, one method. Now I'm going to go to bar PHP and we're going to create a class called bar. And let's just leave that for now. So we'll save it, save that. Now we want to include these in our index file. All right, so we're going to say include foo.php and bar.php. Okay, now let's instantiate these things. So we'll say foo equals new foo. All right, uh, and then we're going to say bar equals new bar. Okay, and we'll test it out by saying um, foo say hello. And there we go, we get hello world. Now, if I was to remove this include and save, we get a class foo not found because it's not seeing that file. Now, what we're doing right here is absolutely fine. Uh, in fact, if I was only using two class files like this, I would keep it like this. But what if you have a folder that has, you know, 10, 15, 20 classes in it? You don't want to have 20 lines of just include files. So PHP gives us a function called SPL auto load register that will auto load all your classes for you. All right. So I'm going to get rid of these two includes here. All right, and we're going to say SPL underscore auto load underscore register. All right, and we're going to pass in here a function. Okay. And then in here, we're going to pass in class name. All right. Actually, we don't need these here. I know this is kind of a weird format. It's kind of like a JavaScript callback, but um, uh, right here we want to say include and then class name. Oops. Okay, class name, and then we want to concatenate on the PHP extension. Okay, so right here we're going to say dot PHP. All right, and let's go ahead and save that. And now we reload and you see it still works. Okay, it's including those class files. All right, if I go to my bar class and say um, public function say hi, and we just want to echo hi, then that should work. Okay, so we'll change that to bar oops and then say hi all right and that works fine 
So that's how we can auto load classes. Um, the next thing I want to show you is the final keyword. All right, so let's go back here. I'm just going to undo so we get foo say hello. All right, now we have this say hello method inside of our foo class. So let's go to bar and let's extend foo. All right, and I'm just going to actually. Um, change this to say hello. Okay, we'll say hello from bar. All right, and then if we go back to index and we say bar say hello, you can see we get hello from bar. Now, if I go to our foo uh, method here called say hello, and I put final in front of it final public function what this means is that this function can no longer get overridden by any child classes all right this is this is it this is the final version of it so now if we go back and whoops and we reload we're getting an error that says cannot override final method foo say hello okay uh, we can also do this with classes themselves. So I'm going to take the final off of the method and then we want to change this to final class foo. And then if we go and reload, we're getting this class bar may not inherit from the class foo. OK, because that's the final class. All right. So this this can be helpful, especially if you're working with multiple developers, um, you can kind of claim your your classes that you don't want to to be um, to have other methods inherit from all right so hopefully i explained that good enough and i will see you in the next video